The Wellness Institute is owned and operated by Seven Oaks General Hospital. It's a certified medical fitness facility. We offer fitness programs for a variety of different fitness levels. It's a place where the community can come together. They work to uh, get well and be well. Since the hospital opened back in, in the early 80s, health promotion, disease prevention was always part of its, its scope and its mandate. As time went on and the incidence of chronic disease was increasing, there was a real opportunity for us to be the first in Canada to do something that really would make a difference in uh, preventing chronic illness but also helping patients get better and stay well. Our vision is to serve a population that's not well served in other recreation facilities. So that being older adults, people with chronic disease. We know to serve that population we have to work quite collaboratively with healthcare. Um, that's why we're owned and operated by the hospital, to allow that type of seamless uh, clinical and community integration. Modern life makes it very difficult for people to look after themselves. 40% of our population will die of cardiovascular disease. 30 to 35% of our population is going to die of cancer of one sort or another. So chronic disease is where we spend most of our traditional health care dollars. When we talk about chronic disease, we're talking about lifestyle-related disease. So the amount of physical activity you have in your life, your diet, do you smoke, alcohol level, stress. Those are major contributing factors where the solution is not prescription, it's, it's a lifestyle prescription. What the Wellness Institute offers is the supportive environment um, to help coach patients to start making those changes, to help sustain those changes, the professional expertise and exercise prescription to help them be successful. If you have existing disease, if you have risk factors, we screen and assess your safety to exercise, but also understanding what type of exercise is right for you, what intensity is right, and what you enjoy. We also have health education rooms because education is a core component of chronic disease prevention and management. So in those rooms, we'll offer healthy cooking classes, different types of educational sessions, but also ensuring we embed coaching and self-management uh, in that education. As a community place of health, what we've developed here is the full spectrum. We have exercise and education for those that are healthy to continue with their health. And we also offer rehab services in the way of cardiac rehab, COPD rehab, renal rehab, to assist those get healthier once they have chronic disease. I am a type two diabetic. It was encouraged that the more ex exercise you get for that the better. Between the regular exercise and weight loss of maybe 18 to 20 pounds and uh, watching more what I eat has made a difference. My blood sugar has dropped like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. We're delaying the, the advancement to insulin right now. I didn't think the exercise would make that much of a difference in my overall health and it has and I'm really pleased about that. These type of places can only help take the strain off the other part of the medical system. The Wellness Institute has been wildly successful. We're continually looking at our programs. We're measuring outcomes. Cholesterol's better. Smoking rates are down. Readmission rates to hospital are down. And in the end of it all, death is down. And we can actually prove those types of things for people that go through the program versus those that don't. Chronic disease innovation is a big part of what the hospital does. And through our rehab programs here at Wellness, it's also a big part of what we do. And now we're adding the Chronic Disease Innovation Center to try to do things even better than the way we've been doing them up until now. Trying to figure out how to prevent these medical problems in the first place and trying to treat these problems better in the long run is one of the major goals of the CDIC. We need to continue to work with the Chronic Disease Innovation Centre to further demonstrate those outcomes and to help inform uh, investment in additional prevention programs so that this model can uh, be more broad throughout Canada and throughout the world. The only way that we really are going to improve 
health significantly for our community in the future is going to be to continue to apply research principles in studying both treating chronic illness and disease and also in preventing chronic illness and disease. What we need is community support in order to continue to drive research and innovation at the Wellness Institute. We need community support to help our facility expand with our growing community. Right now we know that as the population ages, we're also going to see a corresponding increase in the amount of chronic disease. So we absolutely need to continue to make these investments. We have a great health system, we're very proud of it. It's a publicly funded health system, but we need to make it sustainable. And one of the key areas for us to make that sustainable is investing in supporting people to lead healthy lifestyles.